You have disposed all things by measure and number and weight, O Lord. For with you great strength abides always. Who can resist the might of your arm? Indeed, before you the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook the sins of men, that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things, because they are yours, O Lord, and lover of souls. For your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them, and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. Neither out of fear for anyone did you grant amnesty for their sins. For who can say to you, What have you done? Or who can oppose your decree? Or when peoples perish, who can challenge you, their maker? Or who can come into your presence as vindicator of unjust men? For neither is there any God besides you who have the care of all that you need show you have not unjustly condemned, nor can any king or prince confront you on behalf of those you have punished. But as you are just, you govern all things justly. You regard it as unworthy of your power to punish one who has incurred no blame, for your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved, and in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are a master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us, for power whenever you will attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds, that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your sons good ground for hope, that you would permit repentance for their sins.